Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be going over the August reseller recap, which if you've seen some of my videos before, it's basically I like to round up all of my reselling numbers for the month and kind of go through what worked, what didn't work, and basically through all of my numbers. So if that's something that you want to watch, then please stick around. Alrighty, so to start, I like to give all of like how many items sold, my total sales, cost of goods, all of that jazz. So I like to break that down first and then I go from my lowest profits per item to my highest profits per item. And then we'll kind of dive into what worked and what didn't work. So the first things first is I only sold 25 items this month, um, which I think I will link last month's um, video up in the cards. I think I sold more items, but this month I actually had a bigger profit um, by about $100. Um, but before that, my total sales were $888.16. My cost of goods was $130.72, making my profit $757.44. So again, um, in my previous videos, I like to kind of break it down that I am a part-time reseller. I do have a, a full-time job as a mental health therapist that keeps me very occupied um, throughout the week and mentally and emotionally. So reselling is very much part-time. Um, and I just haven't had as much motivation lately to list new things. So again, that plus summer sales, you know, usually equals a little bit less money. But what I am happy about is I think it's pretty doable for me to do about $750 in sales. Uh, I'm sorry, $750 in profit each month. And that's kind of my happy zone. That's what I expect to get. Um, obviously more is wonderful as well. I, I will take more <laughs> too. Um, so kind of going even further. Sorry, I think I have a cat here somewhere in my nose. Um, even further that it breaks down to I had 12 sales on Poshmark four sales on Mercari, four sales on eBay, five sales on Depop, which we'll get into later, one sale on TradeZ, and zero sales on Facebook Marketplace. Again, Facebook Marketplace is, for some reason, the one that is always getting away. Like, I've had very few sales on Facebook Marketplace, um, so whenever I get them, I'm always excited. Some of my averages, um, so my average cost of goods was $5.03. The average listing price was $43.72. Um, my average profit was $29.13, which I think is a little bit lower than it was last month. Um, but my average days to sell was 33 days. So just about over a month from listing to selling, which is something important to know. So breaking down my lowest profitable sales starting for the very lowest um i sold and i will insert some pictures up here um i sold a postmark um cross back dress which is from anthropology sold on poshmark sold for twenty dollars my cost of goods was seven dollars and it profited me nine dollars and this was the second time that i had relisted it um and it sold within 61 days of relisting it for the second time if that makes sense again i have a spreadsheet where i kind of color code all of my um listings and it kind of goes from um the cell isn't filled in which is just a first time listing second time is green third time is yellow fourth time is red meaning that it is red lined and i will have to figure out something else to do with that item because clearly it's not working for me um so that's how i can tell how many times it's been listed my next item was this really pretty um Sixton London makeup bag. Um I actually got it for free from my mom, so thanks mom. Um it sold on Poshmark for $17. The cost of goods was 0 and my profit was $11.88. It was the first time listing it and it sold within 29 days. The next item was a Future State um Urban Outfitters Van Gogh shirt, um, something that I originally bought 
thinking I could wear it for myself, but it was way too small on me. I don't know what I was thinking, way too small on me. Um, so I listed it, I sold on Depop for $19. My cost of goods was $2.40. Um, I profited $13.56. Um, it was the first time listing it and it sold within 30 days. Alrighty, so the next item was this really kind of unique piece that I'd never heard of the brand before. I honestly didn't even know what it was. Um, I I call it an, an overall romper. It was a, a Kona Daisy overall romper, and I kind of advertised it as a um, like a swimsuit cover up because there was no lining in it, like nothing on the bottom part or anything like that. Um, so I wasn't too sure what it was. Couldn't find any comps online for it. Um, so I just kind of took a guess. Um, it sold on Mercari for $17. My cost of goods was a whopping 80 cents that I got in a Plato's 90% off sale. So it made my profit $13.71. And I'd only listed it once and it was only on sale for 19 days. So some kind of what I'm taking from that is that even if you don't know what it is, and I've said this in past videos before, like even if you can't find comps, even if you can't find anything on it, but it looks unique to you, get it. If it's if if you can afford it, why not take the risk? You never know. I just turned 80 cents into $13.71. So small profit, but it's still worth for me. And the very last item that is in the bottom of my sales was this American Eagle little mini skirt. Um, again, I also found this on a Play-Doh's 90% off sale. Um, it did sell on Poshmark. It sold, sold for $20. My cost of goods was $1.27. Um, it was new with tags as well. And so that makes it a $14.73 profit. It was only listed once and it sold within nine days. So pretty excited about that. Now let's jump into my highest sales. All right, so diving into highest sales, we'll go from the lowest to the highest sale profit. That makes sense. <laughs> so the first one was this uh, pair of Levi's vintage 501 jeans. Um, I think they were men's. They had very little like content tags on them um they were cut off so i just kind of measured the inseam the new inseam because they said it was like 33 by 30 or something like that so i just me measured oh measured the new inseam um they did sell on depop for 50 dollars. my cost of goods was two dollars and seven cents again something i picked up on um plato's 90 percent off sale so i profited forty dollars and 84 cents it only took two days to sell for the first time listing it. So again, not all Levi's are made equal. Um, so do your, do your due diligence of checking um, some of the older style uh, Levi's, which typically are a little bit more sought after. Not always, but I've noticed that vintage, vintage Levi's and what is it? The wedgie fit, the rib cage fit, and the Levi's made and crafted those in my experience have been um, the better sellers for me. So the next item was this really pretty Farm Rio um, anthropology skirt. It sold on eBay. Um, it sold for, I think it was like $50, but including shipping, it was $61.60. Um, my cost of goods was $1.86. I picked this up on a uh, super sale when my local urban che uh, cheapskate was actually kind of liquidating their inventory because they were going to move locations yet haven't found a new location and this was like back at the beginning of the year so i'm a little worried for urban cheapskate like what's happening to them um anyways so i picked it up for a dollar 86 cents my profit was 41 dollars and 46 cents um i did have to list it twice or relist it i should say and it sold when within 45 days of relisting it for the second time. Uh, my next highest sale was this Mountain Hardware Nylon Pant. I was going to say that weird. Nylon Pant. Um, I think I, it was in one of my recent hauls. Um, I will definitely link above my thrift haul playlist if you want to see because a lot of these items are actually within um, those hauls. So if you want to see other things I picked up. Um, so this actually sold on Depop. 
I sold for $60. My cost of goods was a little bit higher than what I typically wanted to spend, but it definitely paid off. Um, so my cost of goods was $9.99. So I profited $41.64 and it sold on the first time lift listing within 58 days. Uh, the next item was this pair of Athleta Stellar tights. They sold on Poshmark for $60. My cost of goods was $4 profiting me $44 and they sold within 68 days of listing for the first time. And then my very last sale was this Gap vintage leather jacket. I know for sure that was in one of my recent hauls. Um, this sold on Depop for $150 what? So altogether, I think it was like $180 with like shipping and taxes and yada, yada, yada. My cost of goods was $5 and 59 cents. And I profited $129 and 41 cents. It sold within 64 days of listing for the first time. So again, don't be afraid to pick up some older items because that jacket, if you can see in the picture, um, it still looked very like modern or it was still in style for, for these times. So definitely, you know, don't, don't be afraid to pick, pick up some vintage items. So I will share a mistake that I made, a very costly mistake that I made. Um, and that's why I think I'm going to title this video, the, the $115 sale that got away. So a little bit of background. It is a pair of these beautiful Freebird um, boots. I pretty sure I listed or I um, had them in a thrift haul not too long ago. And so I listed them pretty high, uh, you know, on Macari, if you do the set price thing or something like that like it will just kind of take your sales uh take the sale price down and so eventually got to like 130 dollars we'll just say that and then so somebody offered me 115 except of course you know ship them out get them to the buyer the buyer opens up case and that's always like the dreaded thing um and unfortunately I mislisted them. I accidentally listed them as a six when they are actually a five. So that was totally my fault. I definitely accepted that responsibility and, um, it, you know, accepted the request to return. And so now they are back in my possession and I am out that $115. <laughs> so my caveat to you is I know we get super, you know, in the groove and in the moment and trying to list things as efficiently as possible but take that half a second to just double check your sizing um because you don't want an unhappy buyer that returns things to you and then you're just losing money and time and all that jazz so just take that half a second all right so my biggest takeaways from august so looking at all of my data and my sales and whatnot i actually had Where's my little note here say my handwriting apparently is terrible um so i had said depop had the highest profiting sales there we go so out of the five uh top profiting sales that i just reported three of them actually came from depop and so i kind of think all right so we had a gap vintage jacket we had um levi's vintage jeans and then that mountain hardware pant so Obviously the theming is vintage. Um, also just kind of, I don't know, just more outdoorsy stuff maybe. Um, so, I mean, look, in, look at your vintage, make sure you're selling on Depop. It has definitely been a slow kind of start to Depop for me at least, um, because typically I don't pick up vintage stuff. Like I don't necessarily fit that aesthetic for Depop, but, I'm learning a little bit more and more of what to pick up. Um, so definitely look at vintage things. Also, if you haven't already, um, about a month or two ago, they were advertising like boosted listings um, as part of their new initiative or something like that. So essentially it's like, you can boost your listing for an additional cost, which I think is about like, I think it's like 8% of the, of the total cost of or total price of the the listing yet that it's in beta testing so right now 
you can actually boost listings for free. And so I think that has something to do with it because I typically only have like maybe one Depop sale or two and this month I had five. So I'm gonna attribute it to just vintage pieces and boosted listings. So if you're not boosting your listings, you might as well do so. Also for August, um, so typically this whole year I've kind of been testing out something of doing like a monthly sale at the end of each month to kind of hopefully, you know, push me over that $750 edge or even more, um, clear out listings and then kind of get the next month's profit started as well. Cause usually sales kind of equal more sales. Um, so this month I actually opted not to just because Labor Day was coming around. And so I wanted to kind of capitalize on Labor Day a Labor Day sale as well. So I didn't have any monthly sales, but to be honest, they haven't been like super great lately. Um, so it's, I, I'm trying to reconfigure something and figure something out to make those a little bit more hyped up like they used to be. They used to, I used to do really well in sales and now I'm just like not. Um, and then the last kind of takeaway from this month's reseller recap is more things are selling for the first time, uh, listing it, I should say. So, you know, I will list it once and they, it will sell. I'm not having to relist it multiple times, which is obviously a great thing because I think I said this last month too. I mean, we, we want our items to sell on the first time, which kind of validates to us that we are picking up the right items that people are wanting to purchase. And so we're not here in essence, paying for storage, paying for relisting, all these things that you're paying in time and effort and money and all of that, that we don't want. We want them to sell in the first shot. So I did notice this month, a lot more of my items sold within the first time selling. So kudos to me. Anyways, that is all I have for you for this month's August reseller recap. Um, please, you know, let me know, did you make your goals this month? what what worked for you what didn't work for you i just want this to be kind of like a learning experience for everybody um and also if you liked this content um i also do a lot of, a lot of other reselling um related videos as well including a lot of beauty inspired videos so if you liked this look this is actually from um my september shop my stash which i will link above this is the ColourPop hocus pocus original palette i really love this eye look matching bodysuit from express and these really fun um earrings that i got from i think marshall's or something on clearance and then this like fun little kimono that my mom got got me um so yeah please consider subscribing if you liked this content or if you like beauty content um leave a like on your way out and i will see you in my next video bye